Welcome to a brand new episode of The Core. My name is Sydney and today is Wednesday, January 16th, 2019. Let's start our show today with a look at the current and upcoming weather with our student meteorologist Stavros. Hello Yorktown, I'm student meteorologist Stavros. It's right around 1 o'clock and as you can see from the parking lot behind me, we're currently experiencing cloudy skies. The current temperature is 45 degrees and it appears to be the perfect day to stay inside and read a book. Tonight and leading into early morning, you expect to see cloudy skies and a little rain. As always, have yourself a wonderful day and let's take it back to the studio. Thanks for that update, Stavros. Now, let's try to put a smile on your face with the jokes of the day. Hi, my name is Sander and here are some jokes to remember the next time you're in a situation to tell some jokes. Did you know the mathematician who's afraid of negative numbers will stop at nothing to avoid them? Why did the Clydesdale give the pony a glass of water? He's a little hoarse. Join us again for some more jokes tomorrow. Until then, let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks, kids. Now let's take a look at today's survey results. Good afternoon, and welcome to today's survey. Today's survey question was, what's your weather prediction for this Friday? 63 students responded. Let's check out their results. 49.2% of the students surveyed think that school will be closed this Friday. Coming in second with 20.6% of the vote was a three-hour delay. In third place with 15.9% of the vote was a two-hour delay. Rounding out the survey were just a little bit of precipitation and this storm will blow in another direction and miss us completely. Thanks to everyone who participated in today's survey. Now I'll stay it back to you in the studio. Thanks, kids. Now, let's go to Brian with today's True or False. Hello, my name is Brian. Today's true or false topic is the NBA. Let's see if you can figure out which statements are true or false. Michael Jordan wore only one number. False, he wore two. LeBron James is the all-time leading scorer in the NBA. False, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is. In 2006, the NBA changed the ball. True. Thanks for watching today's true or false. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks, Brian. And now from the creative minds of Emily and John, it's today's stop motion short titled, The Frog, The Fly, and The Scientist. Now, the moment we've been all waiting for. It's today's paper bag challenge with Devin. Hello. My name is Devin, and I will be participating in the paper bag challenge. Let's see what's in the bag. In the bag, it's a piece of paper that says, you have a unique pet iguana that does not like the sun. Design a shelter for him so he can stay in the shade. <laughs> So this is my iguana hangout area. Um, it's a, there's a bed, a swing, a slide, and an area to get food. And it's in the shade, so it's the perfect hangout. That's all from today's paper bag challenge. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. While in Strang Middle School and out in the community, we strive to be safe, responsible, and respectful. In the spirit of this, we wanted to explore the following question. How can you make sure that you and others follow the golden rule? You can follow the golden rule by being kind to others. One way you can follow the golden rule is to stay safe and be nice to others. I can be kind every day. To follow the golden rule, I will talk to others as if I am talking to myself. I can follow the golden rule by standing up to bullies. Encouraging my friends to be kind to others. Great job, kids. Now, let's go to Nora with Today in History. Hello, my name is Nora, and I'm going to share some facts and events that took place on this day in history. On this day in the year 1945, Hitler retired to his underground bunker. Based on this event, we're going to focus today's facts on Hitler's childhood. In childhood, Hitler was a talented artist. 
Three of Hitler's siblings died when he was only a child. This has been Today in History for January 16th. Now, let's take it back to the studio. Thanks, kids. We all know necessities are important, but we, want, but we were wondering, aside from necessities, what's one thing you can't live without? One thing I cannot live without is my family. Pooping. <laughs> um, I probably can't go a day without watching like YouTube on my phone. <laughs> my friends and family. I can't live a day without Fortnite. <laughs> I can't live a day without my friends and family. Thanks, kids. Now let's go to Riley with the lesson of the day. Good afternoon, Yorktown. My name is Riley, and today's lesson is from science class. Today in science class, we learned about isobars. When the lines of the isobars are close together, there is going to be strong winds. When the lines of isobars are far apart, there's not as strong of winds. That's all from today's lesson. Now, let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks, Riley. That's our show for December 16th, 2019. Thanks to all the students who, part who contributed to today's episode. As always, try your best to be safe, responsible, and respectful. Bye. Hello, my name is Brian. Today's true false topic. Thanks for that update, Stavros. Now. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Did you hear the mathematician who's afraid of, of negative numbers? It, oh, my God.